I've had a deep-seated passion for rock and roll. Hi from the campfire. Like a weed, when you chop it down, it just keeps coming up out of the ground and it'll strangle you with love. You know, for years on end, I had always thought that She's Got the Jack was uh, She's Got the Jugs because I always considered ACDC to be the ultimate cock rock band. And I, I failed to pay attention to the liner notes that day. So I'm like, She's Got the Jugs! She's Got the Jugs! Somebody got up my face, you know, it was like beside me. And it was, She's Got the Jack, dude! She's Got the Jack! It's a guy that looks sort of like Joe Dirt with a power mullet, and he's got these, you know, cowboy boots on, he acid wash jeans. She had one pant leg off. This guy's got his pants down around his ankles. She's got one pant leg off so that she can get her legs around his waist. He was walking the blocks to this broad during the song Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. We had the full-on Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap experience going on. And nobody batted an eyelash, not a security guard came over and said a word, and we had a full view of this guy's cottage cheese, white trash ass, wailing away on this girl. I just thought that was the, like, really quite a, a cool, cool rock and roll experience. My first official rock concert was Cinderella, Winger, and the Bullet Boys in the summer of 89. It made you know, a lasting impression on me and inspired the hell out of me. To this day, I have a strong admiration for all of those musicians. The sign of the times and what they evoked. It was the complete tailgate party, beach balls flying everywhere, bleach blonde, bubblegum bullshit with wave pools at Aquaboggan, juicy boobies hanging out of neon colored fluorescent pink and leopard bikinis. And it was just a great, great time. The first records that I bought with my own money were with the money I made from picking these potatoes. And you only got 50 cents a barrel, so it took me all goddamn week just to save up enough money for two cassette tapes. The two albums I bought on that payday were ZZ Top Eliminator and Twisted Sisters. Stay hungry. I'm one of those guys that's been a hardcore KISS fan since I was about three or four years old. And the first day I was ever introduced to KISS just happened to be on the same day that KISS Meets the Phantom of the Park was being released on national television. And everybody was dressed up as a member of KISS. KISS posters were basically the wallpaper in their bedroom. And everybody had the makeup on and they were playing the solo albums and they were playing KISS Alive. And we were all air guitaring and pretending to be KISS. My first KISS record was Dynasty. I was only like four or five years old at the time. Dynasty was a current release. It was one of those Columbia House deals where if you didn't tell them you didn't want the record, then you were gonna get it, you know, elastic band to your mailbox. I've listened to Dynasty countless times. I happened to go out to get the mail that day. I begged my parents to keep it. We thought that, that Gene had these superpowers in which he could do two voices out of his mouth at the same time. And by junior high, you know, it was all about Ace Freely for breakfast. Taking Ace Freely solos, I had dubbed from one tape to another, or taken from an album and then dubbed it to a tape, then taken that tape and dubbed that to another tape. You do that all on your boombox with your double cassette player, and then you put that boombox beside you on a chair, and you roll over first thing before you even get out of bed in the morning and you press play. And it's all these Ace Fraley solos stacked from one to the other. It'd be the solo from Ozone and Snowblind, Making Love and 100,000 Years and, you know, Shock Me. I'd love the solo for Strange Ways. It, it burrowed like a hole through my brain was, was this show in Nashua, New Hampshire with Ace Fraley and his solo band in 1995, high energy, high heat, uncomfortable, claustrophobic rock and roll, you know, like everything's sweaty. And the walls are gonna bust open, the ceiling is gonna blow off. Like, sort of make the walls swell uh, once you start playing. And tubs full of beer and girls with bikini tops, you know, selling jello shots. Blood and guts of like hardcore Kiss Ace Freely fans. And pure rock and roll fury. And by the time Parasite kicked in, the whole right hand side of the crowd pushed up into this like weird 
body wave formation. It's sort of curled like this, creeping up over the top of the stage. And we were all just sort of stuck there with our heads. I remember my head was scathing the ceiling and I was looking down. This puzzle of bodies just waiting to collapse. And instead of Ace like moving away, he decided to lean into it. He actually came toward it and leaned down into it as it sort of gaped and sort of peered down over him. He just kept going like nothing was even happening. Probably the worst blooper I ever pulled at a rock show was when I was too stubborn to not go to the bathroom because I was afraid I was going to miss Alex Van Halen's drum solo. I just wasn't going to let it go, you know, I wanted to see a solo, so lo and behold, right at the same time I just couldn't take it anymore, I couldn't hold it anymore, he kicked into a drum solo. And he's out there wailing away with his neck brace on, and it was just, it was a killer moment. I thought if I subtly bent down to, to take a leak, you know, uh, that nobody would really notice. Everybody's attention was on him. But unfortunately, it was like the ultimate douchebag moment. My teeth felt like they were floating, and I had goosebumps. I couldn't breathe and everything. I was like, just a fucking disaster. I went down on my knees, and I basically was trying to be really subtle and like, keep it super low key. It was like this rainbow explosion all over everything. It was like a goddamn fire hydrant that went off in multiple directions. I ended up pissing all over the, everybody in front of me. And my girlfriend was super cool. She saw the whole thing coming. So she just pushed the shit out of me and I rolled like, did the somersault kind of rolling thing. It shoved me out into a, uh, an area where they luckily couldn't see me. 